We are a highly specialized department covering every aspect of urology, from children, benign diseases and cancer treatment. We are covering an area of 1.6 million people and had a lot of referrals in that matter. We have some international partners. We are working, of course, with our Nordic colleagues in different hospitals. Then we have connected to Prince of Wales Hospital in Hong Kong. We are working with friends and colleagues in London, also Vanderbilt University in the States and Neogenomics. We know that the population is aging and therefore we are specialists interest and focused on treatment in the elderly and also in the regenerative medicine such as life quality after surgery. We know that men after radical prostatectomy has problem with erectile dysfunction and that's why we have focused in our research in this area. Traditionally, erectile dysfunction has been focusing on symptoms and not curing the underlying cause. In regenerative medicine, we focus on regenerating the damaged tissue. Preclinical trials have shown that mesenchymal stem cells can correct erectile dysfunction in an animal model. We focused on adipose tissue since it's so easily obtainable. In our trial, we harvest fat by liposuction isolate the stem cells and transplant them back into the penis within three hours. This is keeping the cost down and the risk of contamination to a minimum. In many of the studies conducted here, and especially uh, in the, uh, this study, uh, is uh, adipose-derived stem cells. And as plastic surgeons, we are experts in fat and in the removal of fat by liposuction. There are patients uh, that you should be careful by doing uh, a liposuction, especially uh, when you're choosing the donor site. You can choose different donor sites. The operation you will see today, we have chosen the inner thigh because he has already had previous surgery to the abdomen. And if you have scarring there, there can be problems. It's a minimal invasive surgery where you have very small incisions, maybe five millimeter incisions, and you do it from different places to get a better cosmetic result. We use a super wet technique. We apply a lot of adrenaline and saline in the wound, so we have minimal bleeding. So we have very clear and pure fat that we extract. Minimal complications and minimal scarring, and actually a cosmetic benefit to the patients. We finished our first trial. This is a phase one trial focusing on safety and adverse events. And in our study, we saw some minor events related to the liposuction, but no adverse events and no side effects at all relating to the transplant of stem cells into penis. And we even saw some significant effect among a selected group of patients. Our next step is a randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled trial. HCARE is an international research collaboration between 80 researchers, of which 20 are international and 60 are from Denmark. We are doing investigator-initiated trials and we have so far published 43 new publications. We have seven work packages, of which work package number three is about surgery. And why can HCARE make a difference? Well, we can make a difference because Antineoplastic agents are typically investigated in the young cancer patients and we prescribe uh, these agents for the elderly cancer patients. And this makes a lot of problems as concerns adverse effects. As for surgery, we have some interesting projects ongoing. Um, can we do surgery in patients who would normally be too frail to undergo a conventional surgery? So partial nephrectomy versus cryotherapy is one project. A fast-track project about nephrectomy uh, done in one day in elderly cancer patients is another project. My main interest in urology is uh, kidney cancer and reconstructive urology. In our department we have a focus on minor surgery and nephron sparing surgery. And that is because in recent years more and more small masses, renal masses, are detected incidentally in scans done for other reasons. And these small tumors are particularly well suited for minimal invasive surgery and nephron sparing surgery. Cryosurgery is one of the options and uh, it has several advantages. It can be done in tumors up to six centimeter. It is minimally invasive. It can be done as an outpatient clinic procedure. I think the future for urology looks bright, but I have three concerns. Why is it so difficult to recruit young doctors to our speciality? Are we not sexy enough? 
can we really train and educate young doctors in our speciality with 37 hours per week? I think it's difficult, finally. I think there is too less money for research. It's very important that we are working together regionally, nationally, and sometimes also internationally. In the future, I think the patient should be in the center of treatment. It's very important that the patients are involved in decision making. In our hospital, the patients are actually involved in research funding, they're sitting in the ethical committee and so forth. I'll use all my power in the future that the patients are sitting there.